Hello everybody, uh, this is uh, Michael from Premier Bank and today I want to share with you a video about uh, do-it-yourself deposit and broker, and broker deposit and at the end of the video you will learn about the uh, three costly mistakes when you use the broker deposit. Now as you realize, uh, in the past I have helped uh, one community bank do the deposit to $2.9 million in just 90 days and if you were interested in learning more about how I did that, just visit uh, go to bankwebinar.com to get more details. And okay, so let's get started. So today, uh, because of my work uh, to help that community bank increase the deposit to $2.9 million, I received uh, uh, one uh, comment from fellow bankers. So he's saying is that, he, he actually he was making a case, right? So he's saying that if a bank spends $6,000 on marketing and develop a $3 million in checking account and earn a 4% of net interest margin on those, on those deposits, and that would represent a profit of $120,000, which would be an ROI of approximately 100%. Now, on the other hand, he's saying is that, but if a bank purchased a three, the same exact deposit of $3 million with, uh, with where they paid about 1.5% interest on the CDs, now the interest expense would be $45,000 a year. So that would be a better decision than spending $60,000. So on this video, we will uh, examine what happened between the do-it-yourself deposit and the broker uh, deposit. Now, just a quick overview about the broker deposit. What is it, by the way? A broker deposit is a deposit made to a bank by a third-party deposit uh, brokers, and that's according to the Investopia. Um, so a deposit broker is a person who places other people's deposits with insured institutions. Right. So, and I also find out about um, the state of uh, of uh, uh, broker deposit uh, according to the FDIC. As you realize, for institution with asset size over fifty billion dollars, seventy percent of those institutions right are using broker deposit and i made a graph for you as you can see for institution over 50 billion dollars in asset and for uh, uh, those between 10 to 50 billion dollars in asset uh, 17 percent more than 17 percent of them uh, were using the broker uh, deposit so i just want to give you an overview about uh, the broker deposit and whether you want to use it or not use it as your own conclusion, but just today I want to share with you what's going on when you use the the, the broker deposit versus the, the do-it-yourself deposits. So let's start with our three cost mistakes when you use a broker deposit. Now, the first one apparently is when you use a broker deposit, you will fail to maximize your investment. Now, what do I mean by that? So. Let's go back to uh, our friend earlier about the DIY deposit for this case. Now, as you realize for this case, you will, you will see that you will be using, you will spend $60,000 overall because you spend $60,000 in marketing to develop a $3 million in deposit. Now, on the other side, with the uh, broker deposit, the expense will be uh, cheaper. In this case, you will be spending about forty-five thousand uh, to get the same amount of three million dollars in deposit. So basically, on the broker deposit, you will have an advantage of fifteen thousand uh, dollars. But wait, it's not a total picture yet, right? It's, it's really not a total picture yet because when you use a broker deposit, your buck stops here, right? And they handed you three million dollar deposit, and then they said goodbye and good luck. Right, you can do what you can do whatever you want with that with that deposit. Now, um, uh, with the with the do it yourself deposit, you can go much further. And here's what I meant. So here's the DIY deposit campaign result uh, that I uh, generate for uh, our client. So uh, beside the three million dollars in deposit, we also help them generate about uh, over three million impressions and 14 over 14,000 website visits now let me let me show you a breakdown of the 3 million uh, the 3 million impressions so basically we use about five different advertising channels from pandora as, as you realize it's an online um, um, 
online video, uh, I'm sorry, online audio platform that you can listen to music on, the Omni Media, that is the, uh, uh, um, the, the platform where you can serve ads, you know, Facebook, Google Ads, and Programmatic. Same thing, Programmatic is another platform where you can serve the ads. Now, out of five different channels, we accumulate over three million impressions. Now, what the three million impression uh, mean? How can you measure that? So uh, I did a quick search on the top 10 largest U.S. city by, pop, by population. And, and, and I saw the, the city of Chicago, there are over you know, 2.7 uh, million uh, people in the city of Chicago. Now let's put that into the perspective of 3 million impressions, right? So my question for you is that basically with $3 million, with 3 million impressions, you will have the entire city of Chicago look at your ad. So my question for you is that, what does having the entire city of Chicago look at your ads means to your brand? What does it mean? To so take a moment and think about it. having the entire city of Chicago look at your ads. What does it mean to your brand? What does it mean to the community that you are serving? Now, I know that some of you are maybe not serving in the Chicago areas, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just using the city of Chicago as a reference point to share with you, show you uh, what three million impression means when when you have when suddenly you have that kind of scale, that kind of traction to your brand and to the community that you are serving. Do you you see what I'm saying? Now, but actually, um, as you as you realize earlier, when I show you uh, the uh, uh, when the broker uh, deposit ha has a slight advantage in cost because they only paid $45,000 instead of $60,000. So they would have a $15,000 advantage over the, over the do it yourself uh, deposit. But, but really, what would be the price tag on having the entire city of Chicago look at your ads? And for me, that's priceless because, you know, with $15,000, you have over 2.7 million people or, or, you know, look at your ads. I mean, what does it mean to your brain? Man? What does it mean to your to your brain awareness? How many, that many people uh, all of a sudden they actually know something about your about your bank about your business? That means a lot. I mean, I would say fifteen thousand dollars wouldn't do justice of of, uh, uh, of this massive scale. So basically. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is that when you are using the broker deposit, you will be missing the opportunity to add more brand equity and brand awareness, you right, to your to your bank or to your business, right? So that's really the key, because you because in those two cases, the similarity between the DIY deposit and the broker deposit is that you are paying anyway, but. Uh, but when you pay, but, but when you pay for the similar amount of deposit uh, with the broker, uh, with the broker deposit, you will not have the opportunity to increase more brand equity and more brand awareness that you have. And imagine, um, like, like my regular um, client, they are running about three to four uh, advertising campaign per year, and that adds up. A lot that adds up, you know, gradually, as you can see, um, it will, you know, imagine, you know, this campaign, you get three, mil three million impression. The next campaign, you get another three million impressions. By the end of the year, you get what? You get over 12 million, uh, impressions. It's like, it's like four times the city of Chicago looking at your ad and learn, and learn more about your brand. I mean, that just, that is a great opportunity that you can't afford to miss. Okay, so besides um, besides not uh, being able to maximize your investment, when you use uh, the broker deposit, you will also be missing out the opportunity to reduce your acquisition cost. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, did you know that the audience that you have served the ads from the advertising from your advertising campaign can also be retargeted, reused for future upsell, cross sale, and even for new campaigns. And oh, you said like, okay, so how does that work? 
Well, let me bring up the, uh, the photo of the breakdown of impression that you can see. There are five different channels from Pandora, Omnimedia, Facebook, Google, and so on and so forth. Now on each of the platform, uh, they have the ability to um, uh, to basically remember the uh, the user who visit your website, who visit your landing page, and save them into save them into a like a like a subset or like a cohort of um, of of visitors which you can use later on, and that technology is called retargeting. So I want to explain to you a little bit. So as you can see, uh, let me move my uh, photo over here. So. So, 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 so let me explain. So on the left side, you see the users, right? When you users, when you use the ad to draw a user to your website or to your landing page, um, the, the user will visit your website, right? Now, if you did not have the retargeting, right? Your bugs stop here. You know, when they visit your website and then when they leave your website, that was it. Your advertising dollars. That's how it's spent. You know, let's say you, if you spent one dollar to get one uh, one users to visit your website, that was it. That's the end of your one dollars. But if you have, but if you already set up your retargetings, right? And what happened is that when they when they leave your website, they will go to another website. Let's say they, they go to like Yahoo or ESPN or uh, what a website to check their favorite uh, sport uh, team uh, scores or things like that, right? Now what happened is that let's say for ESPN since they they belong to the Google uh, display network or the Facebook display network and that that the ad um, the, the ad will follow them from your website to the website that they will be visiting in this case that will be ESPN and when they see your ads again they'll say oh check us out that's interesting then when you when they, they, when they click on the ad they will go back to uh, visit your website one more time. So what does it mean? It means that you are really stretching out. You are really stretching out your your dollars. You, you're getting more traffic for less, right? Really for one for same one dollars. If you did not have, if you didn't have the retargeting, your your one dollar stop there. But if you have retargeting, you can really stretch the effectiveness of your one dollars out for more traffic. Right, so that's what I meant, uh, and as a result, that will reduce your acquisition cost further for your future campaigns. Imagine, 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 you have three or four campaigns per year, and uh, and for each of the campaign, you you have built a a cohort of of audience which you can always tap into to really promote and cross sell, upsell your offers. So that really means a lot. And, and and that will add up a lot as well um, in the course of a year. And if we're talking about multi years, that really that really adds up really really fast um, about the effectiveness of your campaigns and and further reduce further reduces your acquisition cost. All right. So I want to talk about number three is that besides besides missing out on uh, the um, on uh, on the uh, opportunity to reduce your acquisition cost and not being able to maximize uh, your investment, uh, the mistake number three that I can see is that you will become enslaved to the broker to, to the broker deposit services. And um, as you realize, the number speak for itself, right? And, you know, for institutions with over fifty billion dollars in asset. 70% of them are relying on the broker deposit uh, for uh, for their deposit and it's and you know and you see it's so on and so forth so basically in institution with various asset size are both using uh, are using the broker deposit at some at some stage um, because I really believe in the um, in the um, uh, in the philosophy is that when you teach a man to fish, you can actually uh, feed them for feed him for lifetimes, and that's exactly what happened uh, for my client when they learned about when when we help them to set up or to uh, architect the, the the advertising campaign to help them grow the deposit. They can only review this campaign to really um, uh, grow deposit at will. Right, the keys are the control, right? Because you really want to take control 
of uh, really to take control of uh, of the ability to uh, increase your deposit at will, right? And that's where you can get the highest competitive advantage. So here's what I meant. I want to take a, a, a uh, the, the 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 information from the last campaign that we ran for them and show and show to you where you can have the highest you know how taking control of your campaign can lead to you to the highest competitive advantage. So um, so here's the the snapshot that I took from the Google uh, ad dashboard. I want I want to explain to you to a little bit. Now the the blue one means the click. Right, the number of click that uh, the, the user clicks on your ad, and the the red one is the impressions. The, the impression is at the number of time or, or number of people where your ad will be shown, and on the orange one is conversion. Conversion means that when people land on your website or your landing page, uh, they will take the desired action. That you want them to, whether um, they fill out a form, whether they want to leave the name, the email address, so that your bankers or your loan officer will follow up with them. That's that means that's what I call the conversions. And the, and lastly, the uh, the green one means the cost. So the the, the blue one and the uh, and the orange one are more important, uh, as you can it, uh, as I explained to you uh, the uh, the the process along the way. So so let's look at the uh, the first box. So as you can see, I, I have three boxes, and I will explain to you what happened in each of the box. So, okay, so the first box is as you can see all four lines you know they all ramping up right ramping up and then the impression line with the red line is taking over so the, on the first stage uh google is, is trying to show your ad to as many people as possible right and because they want to make money they want to burn your money that's that's really what they do right they want to burn they want to show you ad as many people as possible so it's really understandable. And on the second stage, as you can see, all of the major line, they all like, you know, they all like going up, especially the cost line, the, the, the green line is going up. And this is very crucial phase because Google is trying to understand, trying to adjust in the algorithm so that they can, um, they can, number one, they can, um, they can uh, spend as much money as possible, but number two, they can really show your ad to more and more people, and so that they so that they can take more and more action, increase conversion, and so on and so forth. So this is a stage where uh, you can see there's you know all the lines they are increasing, you know all of the metrics are increasing. Now let's let's look at the last phase. So the last phase, here's you can see very interesting. Uh, point from the last phase. So after the second uh, phase, where they spent, where the where Google spent time to understand about your offers and to show your ad to as many people as possible, and also to adjust the the algorithm to your ads. And this is the last phase is where beauties really happens. Um, if you look at the um, the orange line, which means the conversion and the uh, and the uh, a blue line, which is the uh, the clicks, and uh, you see those two lines, those more two important metrics in your advertising campaign. They all dominated. They all dominating uh, the remaining two, right? You see the blue line and the orange one. They're all really dominating and they are really advancing. And so, what that means? So, so what does it mean? It means that your campaign is producing results, right? When you have more clicks. And really have more conversion when, when when you have more click when more and more people click on your ads and that turn into a conversions it, it means that people are taking the action that you want them to right so that's what means conversions now if you look at the green line the green line actually what is decreasing so what does it mean it means that you are paying less for more result right when the cost reduced and when when the conversion line and the click size increase, you see you see you see there's a huge gap. There's a big gap between the conversion line and the green line, uh, or, or the cost line. There's a huge gap between the click line and the cost line. So that's what I mean that when you have, so when you run your own campaign, 
you have a total control of uh, you can control at every aspect of your campaigns and as a result this is a phase that you really want to happen this is a phase that 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 you can have the total control and this is what i really want you guys to have right instead of just paying money to get a deposit you know since you got the money anyway why not just you know spend money uh, invest money to get a deposit as well as have total control of your campaign so that you can eat you can even get more for less really get more deposit for less and less amount of money so um, as a result, as a result, having more control of your campaigns, as a result of understanding uh, the ins and outs of your campaigns, as you can see, um, uh, we will be we uh, my client actually my client represent on the blue dot actually blew those uh, fidelity to the Ameritrade Maryland out of the picture, blew them out of the waters because we because the effectiveness of our ads, you know, we beat them by 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 a big margin. Right, so that's what I mean. When you have a, a uh, we have total control of your campaigns. So here's a quick recap of the three costly mistakes when you use a broker deposit. Number one is that you will fail to maximize your investment. You will be missing out on the opportunity to reduce your acquisition cost. And lastly, you will become enslaved to the broker deposit. You will lose control to uh, to to get more uh, to get more deposit for less. So I hope uh, this video will uh, will give you a, a more understanding about the difference between running your own uh, do-it-yourself deposit and the broker deposit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the broker deposit. It serves its purpose. It has a place in your strategy. I totally understand that. But I hope you understand that because it's so addictive, right? Which pay money to do no work, right? Some other some other people will do the work for you by just giving you the money, and it's just money exchange, right? So it's, I believe that the the broker deposit is really addictive in a sense that you you do no work but get the result, right? But in a sense that you make you complacent, make you become complacent, and if you don't learn about if you don't learn how to fish, you know. What happened when you run out of money? What happened when, when the when the economy change? Uh, when you have a tough economic conditions? Uh, if you don't learn how to fish, you you know your 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 bank will be in uh, will, will be in tough situations. Okay, so one more time, if you want to learn more about uh, about how we help uh, uh, one community bank grow deposit two point nine million dollars in just 90 days, please visit go to bankwebinar.com so that you can get all of the details. All right, I'll see you in the next video.